guys, how are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. So today is the first time this year I get to fish my home lake. It's actually bass opener today. Um, so I get to kind of fish two bass openers, which is pretty cool. One down south and then one up here um, where I usually fish, where you guys remember me fishing last year. But I'm super excited. I'm hoping to get on some good smallmouth today and then I'm probably gonna go shallow for some largemouth in the afternoon. We'll see. I have a couple hours to fish in the morning, so hopefully we can get on some decent fish. We're gonna go put the boat in the water and then I'll meet you guys back out when we are fishing. All right, so I'm starting off with the top water. There's a little bit of a uh, um, rock pile in here. It's pretty shallow, about three feet. So I'm just checking if there's any smallmouth here with the popper. And I have a crankbait and sinker also tied on right now, but I'm gonna throw this popper around. There's one other topwater spot I wanna try. And then after that, uh, going with the crankbait and probably some flipping, but we'll see. Nothing yet, not even a follow, which is odd from this spot. So this area is actually where I caught my personal best last year on this exact same day on opener. So um, I caught her on a chatterbait. I don't have a chatterbait tied on right now, um, but I probably will or spinnerbait just because of this wind. But I'm gonna start off throwing a little crankbait on this brand new rod I'm super, super excited to use. It is a Shimano X-Age rod, you guys can see right here. It's a 7.4 glass rod, medium heavy mod action. So I'm super excited to try this rod. I haven't really thrown a glass rod around a lot, so I'm really excited to see how this performs. But um, it's gonna be <laughs> absolutely hammering down smallmouth and some largemouth. I absolutely love cranking. Well, first catch of the day. I knew I hit something. <laughs> okay, well, this is going to be interesting. Nice way to start the day. And there he goes. Oh, man. Well, not what I'm looking for, obviously. But, uh... <laughs> wow, okay. I'm on. I am on. I just put on the drop shot because I wasn't catching anything. First cast, little nibble, and bam, we got ourselves a smallmouth. Let's bring her over here. Look at that. Small smallmouth, probably about a pound. But, right, perfect hook set right there. Quickly take this out before we hit this rock paddling in front of me. But, very first cast with the drop shot. There you go, guys. Little small mouth, put him back into the water. Usually if there's one, there is more. So I'm gonna fish around the spot a little bit more. Uh, there's a little tiny bay you guys can see right here. It's really, really shallow, really, really glass, grassy. And then here's a little bit of a ledge. I've caught a pretty, pretty uh, decent sized large mouth off here before, so. That's good news. Happy to finally catch a fish today. I was hoping it was going to be on top water, but the drop shot came through. <laughs> well, next spot. I'm surprised there's no one here, to be honest. There's a guy uh, fishing the spot I'm going to after this one, but um, it's a smooth little ledge with a bunch of rock and some grass, and I've always caught some decent smallmouth here. So I'm going to start off cranking, then probably throw a drop shot around since obviously they want that today, and um, hopefully catch a couple off here. Oh, I'm on. I'm on with a good end. Let me just get out of this crap over here. I am, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I am on, and he is fighting. I casted it to the edge where the rocks and the grass intersect. I don't want to hit anything here, but, oh yeah, 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 we need a net for that one. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I need more hands. Oh my gosh, he's barely hooked. Oh my gosh, he's barely hooked. Look at that slaunch right there. Oh my gosh, not too fat, but 
That is one nice fish right there. Awesome, let's get him back into the water. And there she goes. Yes, first decent one of the day. I gotta get back on the trolling motor before I hit something. Woo! Well, that smallmouth came off this crankbait right here, the square bill. It's a Berkeley Pipple in, a, in a, some sort of orange craw color. But he absolutely slaunched it. Uh, oh man, I'm happy to catch that fish. My whole morning just turned around. But um, probably three, maybe three and a half. He wasn't very fat, but he was super, super long. But good way to start the morning, even though it's like 8.30 already. But I'm going to keep on cranking this, this uh, little island, I guess, over here. I caught him on the other side. I somehow got around with the trolling motor. Thank God for electric right now. But um, I caught him at the edge of a rock and grass edge. So I'm going to go fish that one more time. But whew, that is good. Feels good. Feels good. Driving right over my spot. Right over it. Perfect. I swear to God, everyone here so far that I've seen fishing is throwing a wacky rig sango. Every single person. That guy's throwing pink, that guy's throwing green pumpkin. The guys I met earlier were throwing another green pumpkin color. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I just drove across the lake and I don't think I've ever seen this many fishing boats out at once. It's absolutely crazy. So hopefully they're here. But um, a lot of the spots today haven't been able to catch anything. Oh yeah. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. That was a nice bite. That was like a, like a mondo bite. You can tell the difference between a mondo bite and a little rock bass bite. And that was like a proper bite. Totally missed him. Totally my fault. But that's good news. That means uh, that they're here. <laughs> I'm on, guys. I missed the hooks that I was putting with my trolling order. We got ourselves brown fish, I think. Oh no, it looks like a largemouth. Woo, flip with a glass rod, look at that. We got ourselves the first largemouth of the day. Little guy, he's really, really warm, wow. Must have been tanning on those, uh, on, the gra on the rocks over there. But little guy, probably about a, bound, a pound or so. Maybe a little bit less than a pound. But a good start for the spot. Put it back in the water. Oh my gosh. I felt this little this little bass right here hit. Look how small he is. Oh man. Okay, one second, let me... Well, opener is it's going pretty well so far, don't you think? Really pretty fish, just way too small. <laughs> there you go. So I'm trying a new type of frog out right now. I've never thrown this frog before. It's a seabill uh, frog. You guys can see it has one hook with a weight in the back. So it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty far butt down. And um, I want to see what the hookup ratio on this frog is. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good. But um, I'm going to give it a shot right now in this little, uh, little pocket right here. We don't have too much mats or lily pads on here to uh, throw a frog. But... Oh, I got hit. I got hit by a little guy. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. It was a really small fish. I don't think he, he could get the frog in its mouth. From what I can tell, it walks really nicely. It does sit pretty far down. But uh, walking it, wow. I'm actually pretty impressed. Oh! He took it. You guys saw that. He took it under. See if I'll bite the frog again. If not, then I have a jig laying around. I'm gonna pop it right over him. There. I am on to something. Oh, yep. I am on to a smallmouth. Really, really shallow. I'm kind of surprised this time of day. I've gone without a fish for like three hours, so. Brought the old trusty drop shot and we got ourselves a fish. Uh, oh, no, don't do that. Oh, 
Little smallmouth, a very, very aggressive fish. Whoa, okay, there you go. Little smallmouth on the drop shot. Super, super pretty fish. Quickly gonna get him back into the water. And there she goes. So I caught that last smallmouth, about seven feet of water. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if that smallmouth was still trying to spawn. Our smallmouth spawns all screwed up here in Ontario uh, due to the floods and the rain and the temperature and all that stuff. All right, guys, well, that's the end to my morning. It's 11 a.m. now, so I fished for about four, three or four hours. Um, the bite was really, really hot in the first hour and a half. Um, the wind wasn't too, too bad. The smallmouth were up shallow and biting, um, so we managed to get a couple. But after the wind picked up, it got really, really difficult to fish. And a lot of my spots that I did want to go to fish in the afternoon were totally windblown. So uh, that wasn't going to happen. But overall, it was a pretty tough morning. Um, I was honestly expecting with the weather and the weather we've been having to have a pretty solid day, but that just wasn't the case. Um, a lot of boats out there, all of them, every single boat I saw, every single person I saw fishing on the boat was throwing a wacky rig to go. Every single one, I am not lying to you, which is pretty funny. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's probably more of a little laid back video since I did a lot of fishing, a lot of talking, less edits and that stuff. But, um, Leave this video a fat like if you liked it, any comments or any questions leave down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.